the Big Ten Council of Presidents and Chancellors adopted significant medical protocols including daily antigen testing, enhanced cardiac screening and an enhanced data-driven approach when making decisions about practice and competition. The Council of Presidents and Chancellors voted unanimously to resume the football season starting the weekend of October 23 to 24, 2020. The decision was based on information presented by the Big Ten Return to Competition Task Force, a working group that was established by the Council of Presidents and Chancellors and Commissioner Kevin Warren to ensure a collaborative and transparent process. The Big Ten will require student-athletes, coaches, trainers and other individuals that are on the field for all practices and games to undergo daily antigen testing. Test results must be completed and recorded prior to each practice or game. Student athletes who test positive for the coronavirus through point of contact daily testing would require a polymerase chain reaction test to confirm the result of the PUC test. Each institution will designate a chief infection officer who will oversee the collection and reporting of data for the Big Ten Conference. Team test positivity rate and population positivity rate thresholds will be used to determine recommendations for continuing practice and competition. All COVID-19 positive student athletes will have to undergo comprehensive cardiac testing to include labs and biomarkers, ECG, echocardiogram and a cardiac MRI. Following cardiac evaluation, Student athletes must receive clearance from a cardiologist designated by the university for the primary purpose of cardiac clearance for COVID-19 positive student athletes. The earliest a student athlete can return to game competition is 21 days following a COVID-19 positive diagnosis. In addition to the medical protocols approved, the 14 Big Ten institutions will establish a cardiac registry in an effort to examine the effects on COVID-19 positive student athletes. The registry and associated data will attempt to answer many of the unknowns regarding the cardiac manifestations in COVID-19 positive elite athletes. The Big Ten Conference will use data provided by each chief infection officer to make decisions about the continuation of practice and competition, as determined by team positivity rate and population positivity rate, based on a seven-day rolling average of team positivity rate, number of positive tests divided by total number of tests administered, green 0 to 2 percent, orange 2 to 5 percent, red more than 5 percent and population positivity rate, number of positive individuals divided by total population at risk, green 0 to 3.5 percent, orange 3.5 to 7.5 percent, red more than 7.5 percent. Decisions to alter or halt practice and competition will be based on green slash green and green slash orange scenarios, team continues with normal practice and competition, orange slash orange and orange slash red scenarios, team must proceed with caution and enhance COVID-19 prevention and red slash red, scenarios, team must stop regular practice and competition for a minimum of 7 days and reassess metrics until improved. The daily testing will begin by September 30, 2020. Eventually all Big Ten sports will require testing protocols before they can resume competition. Updates regarding fall sports other than football, as well as winter sports that begin in the fall including men's and women's basketball, men's ice hockey, men's and women's swimming and diving, and wrestling, will be announced shortly.